Now suppose we get the requirement that we need to print 10 to 1, that is in reverse order. Such loops are called as decrement loops. In the decrement loop, we decrease the value. Let's write an example. We declared a variable i. We set its value to 10. In the decrement loop, we are starting from the top. Now write while statement. Here I am writing i is greater than 0. Inside while, we will write printf. Now here we will give the decrement i is equal to i minus 1. Let's execute the program. Now you see, we got the output 10 to 1. Let's go through the code. As you know, there are three important parts of any loop. First is initialization, second is condition, and third is increment. When you change any of the parameters behavior, the loop changes. When we created the decrement loop, we changed the initialization because as per the requirement, we wanted to print 10 to 1. So initialization should start from 10. Look at the condition now. Earlier we have written conditions like counter i is less than 10 so that when i reaches to value 10, loop breaks. But in this case, our loop starts from 10 and goes on reducing. So we write the condition as i greater than 0. Here i starts with 10, then it becomes 9, 8, 7 and finally 0. As soon as i reaches 0, the loop breaks. Next is decrement operators. Here we have written i is equal to i minus 1. It's because we want to decrement the value of i every time it is printed. So the initial value of i was 10. Now 10 minus 1 will become 9 and so on until it reaches 0. So this was about decrement loop.